The Hubbard County De Developmental Achievement Center gives an opportunity to those who want to go to work every day and earn a living. Heidi Clauder tells us how one program is providing people with disabilities a new lease on life. When I started here, uh, I was um, an adult, but in a lot of ways still mentally a little kid. <laughs> It's Tuesday afternoon and the room is filled with workers doing a variety of projects at the Hubbard County Developmental Achievement Center. Some are shredding papers, exercising, or making fire starters. We're able to offer a variety of different job opportunities and training to set goals and help people achieve that goal if it's practical practical for them. But many of our clients like working in the DAC. It offers them an opportunity to learn and grow and to be with their peers. Lindsay Gooch is a prime example of that. Gooch has worked at barely used thrift stores since 2005 in many roles, including as a cashier. Her dream job is working in retail. The program prepares Gooch to take that next step. You know what? I can work a competitive job and uh, be happy. I just have to find the right fit. Most of the clients working for the DAC have developmental or pervasive mental disabilities such as autism. The program gives clients the skills they need to be the best version of themselves through work. I love coming to public every day. I'm a very experienced worker and I love my jobs very much. Richard Raid cuts out the wood to make sanding projects that in turn is sold in their partner's stores. Clients do all types of projects from rugs made out of jeans to footstools that double as puzzles. Having a job gives clients confidence and purpose. They have fun in their work site. Uh, even they just enjoy the value of a check. They, they get to go to the movies. They feel very productive. The DAC currently works with 100 clients and is people-centered. The time spent with the program varies. It can be a few months to several years. Each client decides how they want to spend their day, and that gives them control of their life. We've had other clients who come in and are able to build their skills, build their confidence, and then we can help them either work in a community job um, through us or part of an enclave, which is a group of people who go work at a job, or they can actually go out into the community and work on their own. Most clients typically work a six-hour day. In Park Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. As part of the program, clients also work at Tin Ceiling and Salvage Depot. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.